Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm G&G and this is episode 68 of the University Challenge and today we have a triple header of games to wrap up season 5 and we start off with a cup final against Watford before playing our two remaining Conference League fixtures away to Galatasaray and at home to Hearts. Uh, we will get into the catch up quickly at the start here as a lot of action to do today so won't waste too much time catching up on games. Played a couple of league games, uh, we beat Shelburne 3-0, put out the U team and won that quite convincingly. Kyle Farrell there scored for us, becoming our youngest ever scorer at 16 and he will be on the bench for the cup final today. Uh, we then put out the same team, more or less the U team again against Watford, lost 2-0 and really were outclassed. And then we took on uh, Dur Gardens of Sweden in the uh, Conference League, a 0-0 draw, pretty even game, we played reasonably well. and. Yet a point gained there against them in a uh, nil nil draw. Uh, then we took on Derry in the final league game of the season. We put out a reasonably strong team for this game because they didn't want us to get hammered by Derry. And a match in which absolutely nothing happened. No highlights until the 74th minute when Colin Whelan scored for them. And then there was five more goals. Two for Colin Whelan in the game. Two for Tommy Lonigan. And the game ended 3-3. And that was... An exciting way to wrap up our season and we just look quickly at the league table uh, you can see there bohemians actually end up getting relegated uh, we finished top on 84 points and 14 clear of Derry. and Derry actually broke a record it's the most points by a team without winning the title uh, in the air Tristley league so that shows how good we were this season uh, quickly go back now to we then had to play the all ireland We then had to play the All-Ireland Cup against Glentoran from Northern Ireland, so it was the Irish Champions against the Northern Irish Champions, and we won the first leg 4-0, uh, convincing win for us, Tommy Lonningham with two goals, uh, Nico Jones and Colin McGlennon with the others, and in the second leg in Belfast we threw 1-1, Dimitri scoring in injury time, uh, that is another trophy in the bag with that 5-1 aggregate win, and makes us the best team in Ireland for sure. <laughs> And then we went to Croatia in the Conference League, took on uh, Mostar of Croatia and went 1-0 up after 12 minutes through Conor McLennan. They equalised just after half time and the game stayed at that 1-1 until the end. Huge negative came from the game in that Dennis Nolan picked up an injury in injury time and it's his cruciate ligaments and he is now out for 7-10 to 10 months which is a huge blow for the young player and we'll have to see how he uh, performs when he comes back. Definitely may have to bring in a replacement in the summer uh, or in the winter break now to uh, have cover on the right hand side of midfield. So that leaves us with 8 points in the Conference League in ninth position just outside the automatic uh, last 16 spots with our two toughest games to come. So let's hope we can hang on and make it through at least to the playoff. So that's the catch up done. Let's get to the team for this cup final against Waterford. So here we are on the day of the cup final and this is the lineup we're going with. There is some tired legs in the team as we did play that conference league game just three days before this cup final. And we had to go with a strong team in the conference league to try and make sure and get through. So a few tired legs, hopefully it won't affect us too much in the game. Uh, one injury is that Ryan Trevitt is out of this cup final. He picked up an injury in training a couple of weeks ago, hasn't made it back in time. So Daniel Steedman will start in his place. So the team in full is Pickernell and Goals, back four of Nielsen, Lamb, Jones and Ledwich, midfield three of Sloggett, Steedman and Dimitru, on the wings it's Casey McAteer and Conor McLennan and up front it's Tommy Lonigan. So the chance to win a league and cup double if we can pull off a win against Waterford in this cup final. On the way here at the Aviva for this cup final against Waterford and the chance to wrap up a league and cup double and end a fantastic domestic season for us. Uh, we've won the league, this would be the cup, we've won the Leinster Senior Cup, we've won the All-Ireland Cup. So plenty of trophies have been won this season. Can we add another one today by winning the FAI Trophy? And here we go, Sloggett on the ball early for us here. Lamb uh, in our away white kit here against Watford, hopefully it's a lucky one. Steedman into McAteer, gets turned into Lonigan. Can he pass it? He passes it out to Ledwich, who's got a bit of space here. Can he get across? He can. Lonigan, Dimitri! Oh, fires it just wide. Early chance created here for us, uh, but coming up to five minutes ma mark, it is nil-nil. 
Watford on the ball here as they play it forward and try and break on us. Nielsen in though quick and get to Conor McGlennon in a little space here. Conor McGlennon bringing it wide across. Lonergan on the volley. Oh, keeper makes a great save. Oh, chance created there on the counter by Conor McGlennon. Picked out Lonergan and a good volley but their keeper pulls off. A really good save and on the 10 minute mark here it's still nil nil. Watford on the ball and it's played forward by their keeper and they try and pick out their striker which they do over the top. He's through here. One on one with Pickernell. And it hits the post and Lamb clears it and we've got away with one there so easily how they got through there. Just a ball over the top had him one on one but he hit the post and thankfully things are still level here. Joe in here for Casper Nielsen and he picks out Conor McGlennon who tries to beat his man and Lonigan is fouled and that is a penalty to us. And on the 20 minute mark we could make the breakthrough here. Tommy Lonigan, the one who wins the penalty now will take it. And a chance for us to go ahead in this cup final. Steps back. Tommy Lonergan slots it home. Great finish there from Tommy Lonergan into the bottom corner. And we take the early lead here in this cup final. Important to take the lead in a cup final. And we've done it here. Uh, Lonergan win, won the penalty and then slotted it home quite easily. Keeper went the right way. Might have got a hand just to it. But it was always going in. And on the 21 minute mark we're 1-0 up. Corner kick for Waterford here as they try and strike back. It comes in. Towards the middle of the box, headed clear though by Jones and McLennan clears it even further but it does fall to a Waterford player and a ball over the top, picking it out off his line to pick that up. Good goalkeeping there to relieve that bit of pressure on us. And now can we start to build an attack, picking out looking for someone to pick out, he goes long towards Conor McLennan, doesn't get to it though as Waterford pick it up. And they bring the ball forward with that ball over the top but again picking out, oh he's not there, picking out, oh no no no. Terrible keeping there, a mix up I think between Nielsen and Pickernell there, not sure who was meant to be going for that but what would our level, if we look at it here, it comes from a simple ball over the top and yeah definitely confusion there between the keeper and the right back and it means a very easy tap in for Watford and as we just approach the half hour mark here at the Aviva it's 1-1, free kick for us, here is Steedman on the ball, he goes for goal, oh just over, grazed the bar as it went over was a long way out but he nearly got the dip on it to get us back in front but with five minutes remaining off this first half it's 1-1. Half time whistle goes here at the Aviva it is level at half time 1-1 we took the lead through that penalty but then that mix up between our keeper and right back costing us that goal and Watford would have come into the game slightly more since then but we've dominated possession had plenty of chances haven't taken them and hopefully we can in the second half and get back in front. Second half back on the way here at the Aviva and hopefully we can get in front again as I said, we've dominated possession, we've created lots of chances and hopefully we can get back in front and hopefully we won't make any more silly mistakes like that one that cost us that Waterford goal and get our hands on that FAI, FAI Cup. Coming up to five minutes gone off the second half, it's still 1-1. 25 minutes to go here off this second half and still 1-1 and that fear I had at the start about tired legs has kicked in. We've made our five substitutions. Uh, brought on Greg Lee, George Gitto at the full back positions, Sean Brennan midfield, Malonga up front and hopefully we can, or Malonga on the left wing I should say, hopefully the fresh legs will make a difference and here is one of the substitutions, Greg Lee down to another Sean Brennan, Greg Lee gets to the byline, gets the cross in towards Conor McLennan at the far post, oh just over, onto the roof of the net and over, a chance created there and good to see us uh, getting those crosses in and making uh, them uh, maybe push them back a bit more and hopefully the last 20 minutes we can dominate it stays 1-1 here Watford with a throw in on the halfway line Malonga in though to intercept it and he brings it forward Malonga to Dimitri can we make a breakthrough in this cup final Jones passing it around into Siklic who's come on for uh, Sloggett who was on a booking and tired so I was a bit worried about him getting sent off and then Siklic got booked instantly when he came on so that didn't really work out here's Gitto Dimitri, lovely passing around now McLennan, back to Dimitri, we're looking for that killer pass, Siklic over the top to McLennan, back to Gitto, holding on to possession but not really making a breakthrough here, here's Siklic, McLennan, true to Dimitri, now we're making a breakthrough, Dimitri, can he pick out someone, he can, it's Sean Brennan, Sean Brennan fires it over, oh, after that spell of possession, we really should have been trying to create a better chance than that, Sean Brennan firing over from the edge of the box and with 16 minutes to go, it stays 1-1 throw in for us here it'll be Greg Lee to take again and he looked to pick out Malonga and he does Malonga cross in towards McGlennon at the far post oh he's offside he was offside anyway 
He headed it straight down into the keeper's arms, but he was offside anyway, wouldn't have counted. And with 13 minutes to go, it's still 1-1. Are we headed to extra time? George Gitto with a throw in here. Five minutes left of this game. Can we make a late winner? Lonigan heads it down. Oh, just wide. Oh, that looked to be going in. Tommy Lonigan with the header, but it just goes wide. And with five minutes remaining, it looks like extra time. Full time whistle goes here at the Aviva, and it will be extra time. Uh, those tired legs we are struggling with are going to get even worse. <laughs> Uh, going to have to play extra time, hopefully we can get a winner in extra time and avoid uh, the nightmare of penalty kicks. So let's get to the first half of extra time. First highlight of extra time, just coming up to 5 minutes of extra time gone. And Waterford passing the ball around here, now that ball over the top and Lamb has been caught out and there goes Waterford ahead in this game. But thankfully it's offside, oh we've had a big let off there. That was really bad defending from Lamb. He is retired, I have to say. But uh, that is a big let off for us with five minutes of extra time gone. As another highlight starts here with Greg Lee down to Sean Brennan. Ball over the top for Dimitri. Tried to head it on to Kia Murphy, who has come on in this extra time. And Waterford now passing the ball around and trying to build an attack. A ball again played long, but this time Lamb gets there and heads it down to Dimitri, who plays Kia Murphy. Conor McLennan. Links to Kia Murphy, 2 1 1 Kia Murphy. Oh, he's fired it miles wide. That is a terrible effort, and he's fresh. He's just off the bench. That should have been so much better. And with 97 minutes gone, it is still 1 1. Half time in extra time here, still 1 1. That disallowed goal for Watford, and then Kia Murphy's terrible miss. The highlights of the first period of extra time. So, still level here. Let's get to the second half. Going to have a kick off highlight here in the second period of extra time. And could this be a deciding moment in the game? Malonga almost intercepted there. And Watford playing through. It's a little too easy for my liking. And they're straight through here. One on one. Pickernell pulls off a big save. Well that makes up slightly for the mistake in the first half of this game. And he keeps us in this cup final. It stays 1-1. One, one. Highlight here with Watford with a throw in right in, uh, along outside our box. But thankfully we got a block on the cross. But it falls to Watford again. Here they come. Chance from outside the box. Pickernell with another big save. And Gitau clears, clears the lines. And McGlennon picks it up. And that ends the pressure. Pickernell with two big saves in this second period of extra time. It stays 1-1. And that is it here at the Aviva. It has finished 1-1 in this cup final. We are going to penalties. And let's hope we can come out on top. So here we go. Conor McGlennon with our first penalty of this shootout. Can he put us ahead right on the button? In it goes. Conor McGlennon. Puts us 1-0 up in this shootout and now the pressure goes to Watford and can Piccinelli pull off two big saves in that second period of extra time. Can he do it again? He can. Great save from Piccinelli. We are ahead in this shootout now. We have the advantage. 1-0 up. Watford missed their first one and now Malonga will take our second one. The chance to give us a 2-0 lead in the shootout. He does it. Brilliant penalty and we are 2-0 up in the shootout and so much pressure now on Watford. Pickernell saving that first penalty gives us a huge advantage. Can he pull off another save? No. Good penalty from Watford. And they go 2-1 in this shootout. We still have the advantage as Kia Murphy steps up to take our third penalty. And can he maintain our lead in this shootout? He can. Good penalty from Kia Murphy. 3-1 now to us. And more pressure put on to the Watford taker. A miss at this moment would be huge. Can Pickernell pull off another big moment? He can't. Good penalty again from Watford. So it stays. it's now 3-2 after three penalties. And Siklic will take our fourth penalty. And put us maybe a step closer to taking this cup home. He does it right into the bottom corner. Brilliant penalty from Siklic. And now 4-2. And Watford cannot afford to miss this penalty. Big moment in this cup final. Pickernell steps into his goal and their taker comes forward. And can he do us the big moment? Pickernell, no, we went the right way, but Watford score. So it's 4-3 uh, in this shootout. So we haven't missed a penalty yet. Hopefully I'm not cursing it by saying that. And stepping forward will be Sean Brennan, the man who's been here since that very first season uh, when we won the title. Stepping forward with the kick to win us the FAI Cup in back-to-back -back years. Sean Brennan steps up, slots it home. Brilliant. We've won the FAI Cup back-to-back -back years and we do the league and cup double. 
fantastic moment picking out save in that shootout his two saves in the in the second period of extra time proven crucial although if he hadn't made the mistake in <laughs> the first half you never know but who cares now we won it and it will be uh, i believe sean brennan to lift it it'll actually be daniel steedman uh, to lift the fai cup and we have won it back to back years and complete a league and cup double So after that dramatic end to the cup final and bringing home another trophy our attention turns to the conference league to finish the season and first up it's a trip away to Istanbul to take on Galatasaray and we are going with the same starting 11 from the cup final Ryan Trevor only fit enough to be on the bench so it's an unchanged team for us and that team is Pickernell in goals back four of Nielsen, Lamb, Jones and Ledwich midfield three Sloggett, Steedman and Dimitru Casey McAteer and Conor McLennan on the wings and Tommy Lonergan up front. So it's a tough away trip to us and a welcome to hell. Uh, let's hope we can pull off a massive result. So we are on the way here in Istanbul for this massive game for us playing such a huge club with such a huge reputation in European football and it would be one of our biggest results ever if we were to pull off even a draw here. And it would be a massive step to making the knockout phase of this competition once again. So let's hope we can perform as well as we know we can. Coming up to five minutes gone here, it is nil-nil. First highlight here is Nielsen with a free kick just inside their half. And he plays it across to Steedman who takes the ball down. He plays through Conor McGlenn and he's through. It's through to McAteer. Brilliant. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, I'm sure that was in. Casey McAteer with a massive chance early on here. And I thought it was in. But it hit the post and came out and as we come up to the 10 minute mark it's still nil nil throw in for us deep in our own half nielsen down to lamb into nielsen conor mcglenn and passing around nicely slogger dimitri steedman now can we get forward up the pitch cameron ledwich jones slogger jones lamb passing around nicely here against such a good team dimitri nielsen ball over the top for conor mcglenn and he's true here oh, he just heads it on for some reason but he's going to get to it anyway conor mcglenn and Gets the cross back to Nielsen, to Steedman. Brilliant goal. What a goal that is. Daniel Steedman with a fantastic strike from well outside the box. That puts us 1-0 up here. Away to Galatasaray. And that will silence the crowd. Conor McGlennon looked to have made a mess of it here. But then he got on to the end of it. And then he picks out Nielsen with a brilliant ball here. Nielsen down to Steedman. And a first time strike from him. Right into the top corner. Goalkeeper no chance. And just before the 20 minute mark here, it's 1-0 to us. Free kick here, Steedman takes it, cross in towards the far post, headed clear. And Galatasaray bring it forward. Relieving the pressure, now they're going to come on a counter-attack with us. Can we get men back? Ledwich slowed them up, but they're true. 1-1 one one with Pickernell, oh he's fired it wide. Yes, we got away with one. Really should have been a goal there, but we've got away with one. Cut us open very easy though, which is a bit of a worry. But 22 minutes gone here, still 1-0 to us. Throw in here. Nielsen throws it down to Lamb and he will take the ball again back to Pickernell Lamb passing around and good to see this confidence but then a terrible ball played forward and now Galatasaray will come on the counter attack and they're true are they? No we hold them off for a moment Steedman in with a great tackle having a great game Steedman Jones clears his line up towards Lonigan doesn't win the header Ben Mee there I think <laughs> uh, winning it here is Ledwich McAteer Really good to see the confidence of us passing the ball around away from home against a big European team. This bodes well, definitely for the future. McAteer tries to play Lonigan through, can't get there. Hit the clearance from Galatasaray, falls to Steedman though. Lonigan plays through Casey McAteer, he's through 1 1. Casey McAteer, oh, he's put it wide. Oh, huge chance. Casey McAteer has had two big chances in this first half, he hasn't taken either of them, and it stays 1 0 to us. Pickernell here with a free kick, and he picks out Sloggett, who's in a lot of space. Steedman. Plays a crossfield ball towards Conor McLennan who gets on to the end of it. Will he take on his man now? He will. Cuts back though. And retains possession. Back to Lamb. Into Sluggett. And back to Lamb. Steedman. Can he pick out a pass? He can. Tommy Lonigan. True. 1-1. One -one. Tommy Lonigan. Oh, keeper saves it. But it rolls in. Yes. We are 2 0 up. Away to Galatasaray. What a huge goal that could be just before half time. Keeper got a hand to it, but it just rolled in. And it's a big European goal for Tommy Lonigan. And we really have been the better team in this first half, which is incredible to say against Galatasaray. Steedman, brilliant first half for him, picks out Lonigan. His shot was straight at the keeper, but it somehow just about rolled in. 
and that is massive for us minute to go of the first half and we're 2-0 up half time here in turkey we are 2-0 up and that has been um, an amazing first half from us dominated the game for long periods lots more chances than them took our two goals could have had two more with casey mcintyre we could be 4 nil up here at half time but we really deserve our lead and now we need to do, perform just as well in the second half back on the way here in turkey 2 nil lead hopefully we don't throw this away what a result this would be for us and if we take a quick look at the table uh, we, will, we will after this highlight as galatasaray hit a cross in headed clear initially by jones falls back to one of their players he brings it forward don't foul him push him out wide good now can we stop the cross coming in we can't it's come in and galatasaray will go back within a minute of this second half and yeah expected them to improve in the second half they've done it instantly and now we are going to come under real pressure defended it well initially here pushed them back but they still got the cross in and then at the far post the header by george for them and it is now 2-1 and as i was saying we're just going to look at the uh, conference league table we're up to 15th at the moment with 11 points if things stay as they are but we really are going to come under pressure now three minutes of the second half gone it's now 2-1 galatasaray with the ball at their back line and they're building up an attack here we had men forward there so hopefully we can get them back and they come on the attack and can already see they have improved a lot in this second half we've probably really shocked them and they're true here's the chance Oh, great save from Pickenell. Absolutely brilliant save from the keeper. Keeps our lead intact for the moment. They will have the corner though. And this is sustained pressure from Galatasaray. And here comes the corner in towards the far post. Pickenell comes out and takes it. And that is commanding from the keeper. A big save and then taking the cross. Relieves the pressure. 53 minutes gone here. It's 2-1 to us. Nielsen here with a free kick. With 25 minutes left of this game. We have... Uh, held on here the pressure of the second half so far from galatasaray as they go long with that kick and that goes to lamb who just follows a clear even though he had more time milonga who has come on from mcateer our only sub so far here's dimitri plays through colin mcglennon colin mcglennon's true oh he missed control that and gave it back to galatasaray who go long again and now george is true can he oh nielsen does well gets back and gives the ball to pickernell and he just clears his line with a long ball forward which Conor McGlennon wins the header now Tommy Lonigan is through Tommy Lonigan 1 1 Tommy Lonigan Tommy Longa yes it's 3 1 brilliant from Lonigan to pick out Milonga wasn't selfish cross the ball and Milonga taps it in and we have our two goal lead back and that is huge relief it was the long ball forward from Pickernell McGlennon headed it down to Lonigan he could have taken the shot here looked like he was going to he then just squared it to Milonga who tapped it in oh what a huge goal that could be 67 minutes gone in this game and we're back two goals ahead at 3-1 oh no kick off highlight <laughs> oh please tell me we're not going to throw away this uh, lead straight away long ball played forward slog it doesn't win the header here come galatasaray and it's 3-2 oh threw away that straight away immediately it is back to a one goal lead and it was a ball over the top here slog it didn't win the header then they picked out their man, he got off Nielsen uh, and then slotted past Pickernell and it is back to a one goal lead, it's 3-2 here. Galatasaray right here have a free kick, it's a good bit out, but hopefully this isn't going to be the moment they draw level and they go for goal and it just about goes over, <laughs> looked like it might dip in but no, danger uh, is gone for now. With 15 minutes left we are still ahead, 3-2, Ryan Trevor on for Daniel Steedman who was getting tired so hopefully we can see this game out 14 minutes left now 3-2 to us goal kick here for us with two minutes remaining off the 90 played long by Pickernell. lonigan takes it down and he doesn't pick out milonga but milonga battles for it can't win it back and here come galatasaray but we intercept trevor back to Pickernell. now can we hold on to the ball and waste down a bit of time long ball played forward for dimitri can't get there can he win the header he can lonigan lonigan has milonga with him trevor on the ball back to ledwich Holding on to ball, taking some time off the clock here, as long as we don't give it away in a stupid position. Lamb does exactly that, and now Galatasaray will come on the counter. And they have a lot of space out here on the wing. And here come two, Martinez, one-on-one -on -one with Pickernell, fires it over. Oh, what a huge let-off that is. And with just a minute remaining off the 90, we stay ahead. There will be four minutes of injury time, four minutes from an absolutely massive result for us. 
can we hold on going to make a substitution here just to help wind down the clock we will bring Kia Murphy on for Tommy Lonigan and hopefully that will take a few seconds off the clock here and just ease any momentum that Galatasaray are building up just two minutes left now of the injury time so close to what would be a huge result to win away at Galatasaray massive result for us would almost certainly have us through to the knockout stage last few seconds of this game we're going to hang on i think referee is adding on the time for the substitution there is the final whistle we have won in turkey we have beaten galatasaray what a huge european result that is for us 3-2 here moves us up to seventh in the league we have 11 points on the board with one game remaining almost certainly into the knockout phase just a matter now of can we get in directly to the last 16. So we have to play Hearts at home in that last game. Let's get to the lineup for it. So here we are on the day of the last game of the season against Hearts in the Conference League. And unsurprisingly, after that massive result against Galatasaray, we are going with an unchanged 11. So the team in full is Pickernell and Goals, Nielsen Lamb, Jones and Ledwich back four, midfield three, Sloggett, Steedman and Dimitru, McAteer and Glennon on the wings, and Tommy Lonnion up front. So let's hope we can pull off another European win against Hearts at the Aviva and get ourselves straight through to the last 16 of the Conference League. On the way here at the Aviva for this final Conference League league phase game and if we take a quick look at the table as things stand we are seventh and going straight through to the last 16 as we get an early highlight here with Cameron Ledwich on the ball bringing it forward taking his time plays the ball over the top for Casey McAteer I can't get on to the end of that. Hearts clear the line, but Ledwich gets back in and wins it. Steedman, ball over the top for McAteer. Down to Lonigan, he's offside, is he? Yeah, I think he is. No, it's good. he wasn't actually. So it was a good chance and he missed it, but we do have a corner. I just expect Tommy Lonigan to be offside. <laughs> Here's the corner. Steedman, Jones, oh, I can't get on the end of it, and it's cleared by Hearts. And that is the end of the highlight. As I was saying, we are seventh in the league phase as it st things stand which will put us straight through to the last 16, which will be a brilliant achievement. And with six minutes gone here, it is nil-nil. Corner kick for Hearts here. Hopefully we can defend this. And in it comes towards the far post. Up goes Steve Mander clears, and then the shot comes in, hits the post, and then Hearts finish the rebound. And we fall behind very early here at the Aviva. And it was, we initially defended the corner pretty well. We got the headed clearance here from... I think it was Steedman, it fell to the player, he took a shot, hit the crossbar and then they just tapped in the rebound. And with 7 minutes gone here at the Viva, we are 1-0 down. Corner kick for us here, Steedman hits it in towards Lamb and he heads it just over. Now the chance for a quick response for us but sadly Lamb heading it just over and we stay 1-0 down, 9 minutes gone. Half time here at the Aviva and we are 1-0 down. That early goal for Hearts uh, putting them ahead. We did respond well, we've taken control in terms of possession, created a few shots, but just haven't made the breakthrough and we need a big second half performance to get us uh, back into the running for the straight through to the last 16. We are sneaking in at the moment in 8th place on 11 points, but hopefully uh, we can take care of it ourselves and not need anyone else uh, to help us out. So let's get to the second half. On the way again here at the Aviva and we need to respond in the second half. Uh, we haven't been beaten in the Conference League so far this season, so this would be our first defeat. But hopefully we can respond and make it not our first defeat. Um, even a point here would be brilliant. It would probably get us through uh, directly to the last 16. Either way, we're definitely through to the playoff round for the third year running, which is a brilliant achievement. But it would be amazing to go directly through to the last 16. Five minutes gone here of the second half. It's still 1-0 to Hearts. 20 minutes to go here at the Viva and it's still 1-0 to Hearts. We've just dropped down to ninth place in the league phase. That is just outside the automatic places. So an equaliser is needed here. We are controlling possession, creating a few shots, but just not making that breakthrough. No highlights so far of the second half. So it's been a terrible first or second half football-wise. But if we could just get an equaliser, we wouldn't complain too much. Three substitutions made. Trevor, Malonga and Kia Murphy on. Let's hope we can make a breakthrough here. McLennan bringing the ball forward here and taking on his man Conor McLennan. Cuts back then, tries to cross it but it's blocked and Hearts are on the ball here. But they go long, can we win the header here? We do. But it falls to a Hearts player but Dimitri intercepts and he plays through Conor McLennan. Here is Conor McLennan, takes on his man Conor McLennan, fires it off the crossbar. 
Oh, what a goal it would have been. Oh, that's as close as we've come. Conor McGlennon firing it against the crossbar. And with 14 minutes remaining, it stays 1-0 to heart. Into injury time here at the end of this game. Still 1-0 down. We've actually dropped down to 10th place now in the league phase. So it doesn't look like we're going to get to automatically get into the last 16. We're going to have to go into the playoff round again, which is still a brilliant achievement. But it's disappointing that our only defeat comes in this last game uh, at home to Hearts. Just that goal came off the crossbar and it was just a tap in for them. And there is the final whistle here. So it is a defeat to end the season, but we are true to the playoff round of the Conference League again. I just to double check, there hasn't been any change in results. No, so we finished 10th in the table. Our best performance in the league phase and we will have a playoff tie to start the season off again in season six but that wraps up uh, season five here at ucd sadly with a defeat well not the way i would have liked to have ended uh, season five here with a defeat against hearts but what a season it's been uh, we won the league won the cup true in the conference league just been a fantastic season for us and lots of highlights to look back on and that's what we will do in the next episode will be an end of season review looking back at how season five went here with ucd and talking about some of the plans for season six when we will be trying to defend our title and in champions league qualifying again if you did enjoy today's episode please drop it a like and um, big effort put in to make three games into this episode so it'd be great to get some likes on it to show it was well worth it and for youtube hopefully to show it around more if you want to join us on this journey, uh, please subscribe to the channel and you won't miss any videos. They will be posted Monday to Friday at 6pm Irish time. And if you want to catch up on anything you've missed, there is a playlist on the channel and it does appear on the screen at the end of this video. So until the next episode when we review Season 5, please take it easy.